Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. You made it to the weekend alive. Okay. Got wedding makeup to do today. So I figured I was going to do yesterday's look. I really was. But I wanted to do Kara's eye one more time as like a test drive. So I have done one eye already. And then we are going to be completing the other side. Okay. But I also got some fun stuff in the mail. Super excited. I'm gonna try them on for you. I can't try them all on because I don't want to be wiping my face. But yes, got some got some glamage going. Okay. So Kara sent me a picture of what she wanted for her wedding today, and I played around with it a few times. And now that I've got the liquid eyeshadows, it totally like takes it to a totally different level. Um, but it's very it's very neutral. It's not a bunch of like bright colors. Good morning, Chelsea. Good morning, Tiffany. Thank you. Thank you. Go on, go on straight. And then it was, it was all in my face over here. So we just did a little, little twisty braid out of the way, but yeah. Good morning, everyone. So yeah, got my new lip plumpers in. If y'all ordered a brush cleaner from me, got a brush <laughs> box of brush cleaners to send out today. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey Hayden, what's up, babe? So we'll do the lip plumpers at the end. What we're gonna be working with today. I know everyone always says that. They're like the positioning of your of your mirror behind you. It looks like you have a crown on. <laughs> it's just perfect. As long as I keep my head right here, then we're good. Thank you, Cassie. Hey Joy. What's up, babe? What's up? So I've our I'm I've already packed up all my makeup, so I'm basically doing this out of my trunk. So if you see me rummaging for stuff, I think I have everything out, but you never freaking know, okay? It's hard when you're living out of a trunk. But I um, already got my Behold Setting Powder, powder stamped on the corner of my eye. That way I can keep it nice and soft and glam. Are they, Christina? I'm a super pumped to try them. Like, literally... They just dropped them off before I hit the live button. I was getting my earrings from upstairs and then I saw him walking up to my driveway and it was just meant to be. It was just really, really meant to be, y'all. Okay, so let's just do the darn thing. I can't watch you swatch the hotties. I, need. <laughs> I know, you're a hottie junkie. You have always been like die hard hottie lover. Like crazy joy. She loves the hottie lip plumper. So like, this is like her jam. Look at how, look. Yes, exactly, boo. <laughs> These are the new packaging of the hottie. Aren't they sassy? Aren't they hot? No pun intended. <gasps> okay. Yes, that's what everyone says, Tia. Isn't that weird? Like I didn't, I did not even plan it. I just wanted my wall to be really cute behind me. I wasn't planning it at all. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thanks, Christina. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Donna. Good morning, everyone. But yes, this is what we're doing. And I'll show you guys a picture of the inspiration for it later. But let's just do the darn thing. So these colors right here, these five right here are what we're going to be working with. So we got gingerly. Can't really tell from this one, but it's optimistic. Marvelous. Gullible. And then is this discreet or timid? Timid. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be working with. And I wanna to talk to Kara about this when I do her makeup today, but we're, on my look, I used um, the Redondo Liquid Cream sh liquid Eyeshadow, okay? I thought she was keeping on with you. They don't know what, Kara. Duh, duh. Hey, Francis. Okay, so we're gonna start out with that gingerly color. It's like a... It's like my, what I call pumpkin spice latte. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Jill. What's up, ladies? Morning. And I'm taking my blending brush and just super, super lightly creating that transition. Okay. Mom, what? All my guns are purple. Oh, my goodness. Really? Yes. No way. Did you do that on purpose? Or did they just change purple? Okay, he's not answering me anymore. He interrupts me. I'm not here to just stop talking. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, Ashley. 
Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I'm excited. Excited, nervous. I don't do a whole lot of wedding makeup just because I'm a total like perfectionist, but I'm up for a challenge. Ready to bust out of the comfort zone. I want the same liquid eyeshadow. Do I just message me, Hayden? Message me. Um, uh, let me look at my orders and see if I have any coming in. If I have some coming in, then I can just invoice you and ship it out when it comes in. Otherwise, uh, I can add it to my bulk order. You can order from my website, whatevs. But just send me a message so that I don't get like squirreled and like distracted, <laughs> okay? Kara, this is the blending brush, okay? So just very, very lightly and softly, just building, building that transition, okay? And then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna add a little bit more and just kind of build it up to however you want it. So the real magic is going to be building the layer of the look, okay? Just keep building and building and building. It's like peeling back an onion. There's layer after layer, and just when you think you get to the middle, there's another layer, okay? That is the power of it all. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. <sighs> Brush cleaners are in. Yes. Got got box of br brush cleaners for all of you guys that ordered them. Make sure you paid your invoice. I've got um, I've got them all. Just got to get them packed up, ready to ship out. I'm super excited. And it couldn't have come at a better time because I need my brush cleaner to be able to clean my brushes in between the girls today. And I was getting a little bit low. But if you haven't snagged the brush cleaner, freaking redonkulous. Redonkulous. Okay. It makes brush cleaning so simple and so easy. It's, it's insane. Okay. Now moving right along to gullible. Okay. This color right here. And I'm taking one of my Morphe brushes. It's a little bit smaller than the blending brush. Okay. So a little bit smaller. So a little bit more compact. Going to work on like a little bit smaller of my eye. Uh, as I start to get to the different layers my brushes tend to get a little smaller and a little bit more compact a little bit more dense so we're just gonna start building that outer color oh Kara have you used it yet did you were you able to snag one when it was here in November because if you haven't you're about to be mind blown it is so simple it is incredible how quickly and easily you can brush, like clean your brushes. No dry time, nothing. Okay, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Cause I used to have to bring um, alcohol spray to spray on my brushes just to sanitize in between. And y'all know, alcohol is the most drying thing ever. So my poor brushes, they were not happy. <laughs> they were not happy campers at all. So this is like, it like moisturizes my brushes, keeps them like loving life and like working to their best abilities. I'm just gonna just kind of play with it and see where you want to go with the look, okay? If you don't want it to be like super, super dramatic, don't do it dramatic. Just do lighter layers, okay? So you can totally customize this to however you want. But going to be stunning she's gonna look flawless flawless y'all okay carrying right along now we're going darker going darker with the colors to create that dimension <laughs> I know isn't that cool Stephanie as long as I sit right here I'm like the queen on my throne it's my crown it's a little my, my tilted crown okay <laughs> yeah I, I did not plan that I really didn't but it works out really well so here is this marvelous color so I'm getting smaller with my brush like I was saying and darker with the color to create that dimension okay and I always dust my brushes off okay tap it on your hand tap it on your palette something to get the excess off so that you're not having all that fallout okay and then we're just going to build build and build this is like the key part to making it dramatic okay and if some of y'all were hopping on hoping that you were gonna see the beloved what? look from yesterday 
Psych! <laughs> oh, thank you, Ashley. Took a lot of practice, sure did. <laughs> and it helps that I already had my face done, that I already had one eye done. It makes, it makes me able to show you guys how I achieve this look, but you guys know what the end result is gonna look like. You kind of know like what we're working towards, so it, <laughs> it really, really helps. Good morning, Carletta. What's up, babe? So I'm going to swoop. I swoop a little bit over just because of my hooded eyes. Kind of creates a little bit more creasage. Okay. And then we're going to get to the fun pop part. Okay. And as we go, if you're ever doing your eye looks and you're on the struggle bus, take a step back and look, like look at yourself straight on in the mirror. Okay. You can tell by looking at yourself straight on, maybe that we need a little bit more of the darker brown up here or a little bit more of the transition color up here. When you take a look at yourself straight on, you can really, really see um, what, what needs to be changed. So you can try to make them as symmetrical as possible. Yes. Hashtag Chelsea brows. <laughs> My brow game has never been more on point since Chelsea freaking Smith stayed at my house. <laughs> she changed my brow life forever. Chelsea, I am forever, 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 forever grateful for you. Yes, for real. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna leave the brown like that for a second, but we are gonna go back and touch it up when we're done, okay? because we're gonna wanna blend the Redondo in, okay? So this is, uh, it's like a tan, like a gold, okay? These are the limited edition Beachfront Kissed Liquid Eyeshadows, and they are amazing for so many different reasons, but because I knew that I wanted the light color to really, really, really pop, I knew that I wanted some form of a liquid or cream underneath it, so that I could really, really get that pigmentation, okay? The Chelsea brow, I'll have to tag you in the brow video that I did the other day. I showed everyone literally from like start to finish how I did my entire face, which takes a while <laughs> when I sit here and I kind of like coach you guys through it as I'm doing it. But the brows, it's basically, Honestly, like the biggest thing, sorry, I'm trying to keep my eye closed. I feel kind of wonky. <laughs> trying to keep it closed so it doesn't, so it can dry. But cutting out your brow is the biggest thing in the world. Seriously. Like, it's closer to the circle. when you draw your brow on or when you get your brow shape, no matter how precise you are, sometimes there's still areas that you need to like cut out to make it really, really crisp and really, really sharp. And if by taking, will you there, guys you stop? I have of you. <laughs> Please stop, y'all. Gosh, um, but just cleaning it up with um, with concealer makes all the difference in the world. So I'll have to tag you guys in that video if you want to. So just just hashtag brows. How about that? Hashtag brows if you want me to tag you in the video. Okay, because it's it's a game changer for sure. So I'm just kind of dabbing that on. So again, that's Redondo. Okay. And then I'm going to take my cream shadow brush and spray it with a little bit of setting spray. This too is going to um, help pigment the color. It's going to really, really intensify it. And then we're taking that optimistic color, which I also have on as a highlighter right here. All right, y'all. After I hop off of here, I'll tag you guys in that video, okay? It's over on my business page. So if you see a tag from Megan Dashley Beauty, that's where it's coming from, okay? Let's see. We're just gonna tap that on. Really, really intense. Do you see that? Do you see how that really just kind of like exploded all over? Like the lightness and the brightness and the shimmer from it just went kapow. It's amazing. It's amazing, y'all. For real. Love, love, love the foiled effect of when you do setting spray on your brush. 
And if you get some down here, don't worry about it because we want that lightness on that inner corner. It's perfection, Mel. It's seriously one of the most beautiful concoctions because it's so neutral that anybody can wear it, honestly. And you've got some of the warmth from Gingerly, but then you've got the really cool um, pooling color from the Marvelous, the deep brown. And then you've got that vanilla on top of it. It's just, just amazing. I let the liquid um, eyeshadow dry first. And then by having the setting spray on it, it kind of like redampened it as I was pushing the product into it, okay? So you don't want it completely, um, completely damp, but just let it dry. It dries fairly quickly and then just kind of pack it on. So don't like smear it back and forth, really just kind of like press it into the lid, okay? Just press, tap, 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 tap. Just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna clean up and blend the two colors together. See how it's very choppy? It's like dark light, dark light, light dark. Okay, it's very choppy. We want it to softly just flow together. We want everything to just merge and mesh and be one happy little family, okay? <laughs> Does someone's kid have the phone? <laughs> Or Heather's just really, really excited about this look. One or the other. So I'm gonna take some of that dark brown and we're just gonna lightly start fading it in. See how just by kind of going back and forth right on those lines, what? I'm gonna love your still shot that uh, I was scrolling in Facebook ads right now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the still shot Facebook has of me. <laughs> so when you guys are hopping on, this is the beauty that you get to look at. When I was trying to keep my freaking eye open so that my eyeshadow wouldn't like get to the top. <laughs> Facebook loves making me look like this just fabulous person. Just so fabulous. They have a way of making us feel so beautiful, don't they? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Wasn't that great? Of all the still shots that they could have chosen in this entire video, they chose the one where I'm like, really? <laughs> Gosh. Never a dull moment, huh? You what? Never a dull moment. Not when you're married to me. Thank you, T-Bird. Okay, now we're just gonna take that brush that I had the gullible on, and we're just gonna kinda dust it and blend it all together. And then for the final touch up here, before we get to like the underneath, the mascara, the liner and all that, I'm just taking a little bit, what did I say it was? Timid. Timid is like a flesh tone. It's a matte flesh tone. And I'm just going to dust it right up here just so it doesn't look like I forgot to put anything. Now you can put a little bit of um, that optimistic shimmer up there if you wish, but I just wanted to keep all the attention right down here. I am wearing a bodysuit. I am. I got it at Marshall's the other day. I'm still not sure if I want to wear it in public, but um, I do really like it as like a lounger. So I guess I'll show you guys. Um, so yeah, it's just a little, a little bodysuit that I got at Marshall's. It's pants, it's pants, yeah. But it's really comfy just to kind of like lounge around in when I'm just like bumming around the house and whatnot. Thank you, Maddie. Maddie, can we talk about your Instagram pics? Um, your bikini pics? Freaking hot, y'all. <laughs> Maddie, you're a hottie patati. Okay, so we just did a little bit of that timid right up there. And now we're gonna bring some of the stuff down here too, okay? You think I should wear it? See, I don't know. Like, bodysuits body suits make me, or not bodysuits, like um, rompers, just they make me feel uncomfortable because I, I feel like it draws all the attention 
to my mom pooch, okay? <laughs> this little poochie right here from childbearing. Like, I feel like it just screams, like, look at me. Look at my pooch. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to wear yet. Haven't gotten that far. Your birthday suit. My birthday suit? I can't wear my birthday suit to the wedding. Um, no, I cannot believe that <laughs> when I was reading through, um, or when I scrolled on it and you said that your brother snagged it, I was like, dang, he's got, he's got, um, a future in photography. He's going to be like a sports illustrated photographer or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, Alex. I know that like other people probably don't notice it, but I feel like because we're so hard on like our own bodies that like that's what I like zero in on when I wear like rompers and like one pieces like this. My little pooch right here. I feel like it draws attention to that area. I just feel like it it accentuates what I don't want accentuated. But it's cute on camera because all you can see is up up here, right? So I'm just taking our new eyeliner brush and I'm just kind of smudging some of that dark brown underneath. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. And then I'm just going to, we're not going to be doing like a wing or anything today, but I'm just going to take some powder and just kind of wing it out a little bit as is. Just, just with a little bit of powder. Okay. Because we all know the story of my wings and it's just it's just not happening the color on the lid is actually redondo liquid eyeshadow and then we put some optimistic over top of it it was dampened with the with the setting spray Maddie just keep working at it girl you're so talented just keep working at it for real I'm not letting I'm not letting you not work at it can't get rid of me, girl. Can't get rid of me. I'm here. I've been trying for 10 years. <laughs> uh -huh. Now we're going to take some black liner. We're going to go up and under. Okay. And what really stood out to me in the, the inspiration picture that she sent me was that it had the cat wing on the inner corner. Okay. I know that's like a really cool trend now, but I've never actually done it. And so I was really, really blown away by what a difference. Hey, Kylie. What a difference it makes having that little bit of wing right there. Look how it really just kind of changes the eye shape. It kind of just like curves it. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I just pulled a little bit of that black to kind of make like that little that little wing on the inner corner because when I was at corporate they had us watch some um, some trend videos and that was actually one of the trend videos and I was like I need to try that and here it is yeah obviously if you want it like really really intense you're gonna take your liquid eyeshadow but I'm not <laughs> I don't know what it would be called. Like the inner, the inner cat wing, inner wing, I don't know. There's probably a really fancy name for it, but I don't know. And I just went a little cuckoo crazy with it. So I'll have to find out what that's called, but it's, it's kind of cool. Now, if you're an eye rubber, if you rub your eyes a lot, um, yes, Alex, this is. Yes, this is trial run number two. Because when I first did it, we didn't have liquid eyeshadow, and so this is, this is what we're doing. Oh, stop it, stop it, Michelle. No, no talking like that. Only I'm allowed to talk about my pooch. No one else is allowed to say anything bad about themselves. <laughs> not, not in our bubble. Not in our bubble. What was I talking about before? I don't remember. Okay. So we got the liner. Now we just gotta clean up underneath, okay? This 
this is where we dust off self love yes this is where we dust off the excess of that setting powder that cleans it all up okay look see how we had it stamped right there and then once we clean it all up it's all magically softly blended and then you can even go through and just kind of even soften it a little bit more Ta -da. and then we gotta put lashes on and then we can get to our lip plumpers she's gonna look amazing I'm super excited I'm excited I don't know what her dress looks like I don't I don't know what anything looks like other than what we're doing for her makeup There is a little bit, I'm doing a little bit of 3D, a little bit of epic. So we do a little coat of the 3D transplanting gel, just as like a base coat, just to kind of plump in my lashes up a little bit with extra, little extra grit. And then we're gonna roll some fibers on it, just on the tips for some extra length. It's today. I have to be in Covington around 2.30, but I think I'm going to get there early because I've got a lot of stuff to unpack, right? <laughs> got a whole, whole beautiful trunk full of stuff. I actually have two trunks full, and I had to consolidate into one because they're so big that I don't think I could carry two. So I was able to consolidate all my favorite must-haves ready to use in one time. You're gonna do amazing, Olivia. You're so talented with makeup. You're gonna you're gonna kill it. Plus, I don't know about you, but I almost prefer to do my own makeup for stuff like that. Like, because then I I I I think it's part of my control, <laughs> my control issues. Like I like being able to do my own makeup for like photo shoots and stuff like that just because then I feel like if it goes, if it looks bad, it's on me. It's not on someone else. It's not the what if, but I can always go in and fix it. Like, plus not everyone will know like how you like your makeup done and stuff like that. So I just prefer to do my own, but it is every fun every now and then to have someone, someone do it. Like this girl, Monica on our team is so amazing at makeup. Like her looks are completely flawless and total Instagram worthy. Like the images that she captures of her looks is just mind blowing. And I wouldn't be mad if she did my makeup. <laughs> Hey Sherry, it isn't. It is not. But I have been wondering about it. I can hear you. I want the flat iron. I want the flat iron. I want the products. I want it all. I do. Okay. So we got lashes on. I've got two coats. Two coats of epic and fibers. Okay. I couldn't remember if I just sealed it in, so we're just gonna seal it in real quick. But that is just the babelist. The Fabulous Pro. Do you? Do you love it? Do you have the salt, sea salt spray or whatever? Because I want the sea salt spray. I want the, is it Ferrola oil? I want the dry shampoo. I want the root lifter. I just want it all. I just want it all. Okay. Are you guys ready for? Thank you. Thank you, Tina. So that is her glammy look, okay? Let me just touch up the highlight over here because I, I didn't do it as intense over here because I knew I was going to be cleaning up that outer side. Yeah, I've been wondering about it. I have, not going to lie. All right, are we, what color are we going to do? Here, let's swatch them all and then we can pick what color we're going to do. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. This is Jenna. This is the Jenna lip plumper, okay? This is the one that I've been really excited about, the Renee Rochelle. 
Ooh, that's got shimmer to it. I wasn't expecting it to have shimmer. That's really pretty. Let's see. This is Chandel, which is a nice muted matte, or not matte, it's a nude. It's like a warm brown. Then we've got Holly Megan. Oh, that's like a nice chocolate, chocolatey brown. Is that one? Renee is your middle name. I really like the Renee one. And then this one is Keisha. I like Keisha. I really like that Keisha one. So I don't know, which, which one do you guys think I should wear today? Which plumper are we going to wear? They don't stain, sorry, someone called. Um, they don't stain your lips, but I've heard that the staying power of them is amazing. So it's lip plumper, so it's got the peppermint oil and stuff in it, but uh, they've, got, they've got color to it, whereas the original one doesn't have color to it. So I'm thinking either Jenna or Keisha, the natural nude with the eyes. Keisha, Renee, Renee, Keisha. The one that I really, really wanted was Keisha. I think. But I don't know. Keisha or Jenna. Keisha or Jenna. Here's what they look like, guys. You think the middle? I don't know, guys. I'm so torn. Jer, come here. What? Which one should I wear? No. Come look at them. Pick one. What? Here's which one? Um, for where? My lips. Your lips? I'm gonna go with either one of those two. Those were my original thoughts. I'm gonna do the one that I I've been dying to wear. So we're gonna go with Keisha. Okay. We're gonna do Keisha. So here's my lips now, okay? We like to laugh that I have like a disappearing upper lip. <laughs> the one nearest to my watch was um, Jenna. Was Jenna, that one. Okay, here we go. Oh! So pretty. And as my sister says, it's hard to lip in live. <laughs> it's hard to do your lips while talking. So I'm just going to sit here quietly real quick while I do this. We're just going to sit in silence and observe the plumpage happening. Okay. I am going to clean up over here real quick. You don't have to put a lot of product on with this at all okay so there is Keisha okay and I can already feel the tingle happen it's happening it's it's starting to plump I can feel the coolness so if you're super super sensitive the lip plumper may not be for you because it does tingle it is like a very cooling sensation very like menthol feeling um but I'm obsessed with it. Like once you get used to like the tingle, it's kind of one of those things where you keep wanting to like reapply. Like you want more. So I tend to reapply quite a bit throughout the day just because I love it. Just because I love it. So that one is, is Keisha. I am going to try on another one though. Just because I can't, I can't resist. That's the one you ordered, Trisha. It's beautiful. You won't, you won't be mad at all. So let me put, dust some setting powder over it just to dry it off. Okay. Now we're gonna do Jenna because Jenna was my second choice. 
and I can already tell I'm gonna love this one too. I can. It's very much like sentimental um, splash liquid lipstick, if you know what color that is. Okay. Gotta get my arches a little. So this one is the Jenna. Look at that. Can you guys already see my lips starting to plump a little bit? <laughs> I can feel them getting bigger. I can feel it. So that's the Jenna. And honestly, I think, I think Jenna's the winner for today. I think I want to wear Jenna. I want to be Jenna today. Okay. It just is a really nice color and I feel like it's pulling out the, the green in my eyes too. Yeah, so you can get these lip plumpers either individually in the kudos where you get the cream shadow of your choice, lip plumper of your choice, and epic mascara um, all at a bundled discounted rate. And, or you can get the set of all five of the lip plumpers. So if you honestly can't choose, or if your friends want one and you want one, you can get them in a set too. So whatever you decide, singles, sets, kudos, whatever. That is our look for, day, for today. Again, if you ordered a brush cleaner through me, make sure that you pay your invoice. I've got them in. They just came in the mail. So I'm going to work on getting those shipped out. But if your invoice isn't paid, I will not be shipping. Okay. So make sure your invoices are paid. Um, Hayden, if you're still on, I'm going to look at my orders to see if I still have that liquid eyeshadow um, coming in or not. And I will let you know. But I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to share it with your peeps. And those of you guys that hashtag brows that wanted brow help, I'm going to tag you guys in the video on my business page that shows you how exactly I do my brows now. And it is a life-changing look, okay? It will completely change your game. But I love you guys. Yes, Sherry, I will get yours out today in the mail, and I will shoot you your... Um, tracking number also. But I love you guys and I'll talk to you later.